to build our employee details app let's first understand how this design works in the background i have an entity and the entity contains all different data of the employee starting from his name mobile email right his photo and then uh, there is a pay slip document that is a sample doc, pdf document and also i have added a address now this entity for example photo pay slip uh, right how you are capturing this i am also going to show you the field type for example the photo has a field type called file last pay slip is a pdf document again that data type is file address is text okay so this is how the entity is there in the background and this is the front end design in this one the moment i am selecting let's say 1001 i have only two records just for learning purpose so the moment i am fetching typing 1001 on the left hand side it shows the pay slip and now here it's going to show the image of the employee and it has got the name email address mobile and his address right so this is a sample data which is getting fetched from the entity at the back end so how this is designed let's see in detail now first of all the uh, you know the foreground how how to design the front end the front end the input is the employee id okay now let's look at the input how it is designed okay so i'm pretty sure as you are watching this video you must have already gone through the past videos and you know how to utilize this drop down so here i have a drop down and the drop down i am telling hey i have selected the employees entity okay this is a table which i have created in the entity services data services and here i have the entity table employees table this employees table has been added in the list source so the drop down is going to show the the source is from this table and here i am selecting one of the column for the drop down which is employee id okay just by you know just it's pretty simple click on this and then go to the employees table and select the employee so here employee id becomes the selection the moment users uh, the user is going to select any employee id from the drop down now let's look at the event what's going to happen next so once he selects so here i have written a small lookup query okay lookup query i'm going to show you how to write this lookup query okay so let me first delete and the same thing we have to repeat so let me delete it so that i can show you how this is being done so i have created a simple app variable called name and what i am doing i am using a lookup function so type equals to and in the right hand side under functions scroll down and you would find something called lookup so simply click on it then put open and close parenthesis then the source from where it should fetch something so here i am saying employees table employees table you have to fetch put a comma and then two square brackets inside the square bracket i am saying hey the moment right user selects the employee id so the employee id column is there in this one employees table employee id this should put a comma and then within double quotes you put a equal symbol this is the syntax put a comma and i'm saying if right uh, the moment the user selects from the drop down the drop down value i'm selecting here okay if you see uh the drop down here drop down dot selected value now anytime user has selected something the value will come here and it is saying whatever the value the user has selected let's say he has selected 1001 wherever it finds a match in this source right you show the output now here we don't want the entire row we want a specific data for example in the name text i want to show the name of the employee so all i have to do put a dot and i'll go to employees table and i'm going to select name so it works more like a select query getting it so it is showing name from the end, from the data table where employee id is equals to this one and i'm going to store that value to name and this name app variable i'm putting that here in the text box this is simply a text box where the label i have given as name and here i am doing a value matching with the variable so that means the moment user selects 1001 or any employee id it will find the name of the employee and is going to show here and the name is there here 
the same thing you have to do for email same thing you have to do for mobile same thing you have to do for address let me show you so i'm going here and i'll click on the event create rule so look at this uh, sorry drop down and here so here it is fetching the name and storing in the name variable same way it is fetching the last everything remains the same just at the end i am putting dot employees table dot email so it is pulling the email of that employee id and then putting an email uh, variable same thing mobile number it it is putting in the mobile variable and address is placed in the address variable okay so this uh, these variables are i have just linked it for example if you see for the email i have put email for mobile i have put mobile and for the address i have put the address so this is quite a simple design so it will fetch all the data and show it in this text boxes there is another control here called the image control i have told you our table contains an image okay what is the image that there is a photo photo of the employee okay i have put a photo of the employee and then uh, there is also a pdf document so this photo how it should come i have put a image control this image control i have the size right i have made it to 100 pixel and 100 pixel uh, 120 pixel so it has a rectangular box like that so entire uh, you know the image will come only in this space so it doesn't expand automatically during the runtime so i have fixed the size width and height i have fixed it once you have fixed it how do i get an image from this again the similar you know um, function we have to go for look up employees table employees table employee id is equals to drop down value whatever is selected and it should show the employees table dot photo the concept is same i am just you know putting one column from the entity and showing it here so the photo contains that file so it will show that image file okay and same thing i have used a document uh, viewer there is a control called document viewer i have put the document viewer control here and in the document viewer control also same thing and here i am simply saying show the last pay slip i am just saying show the last pay slip there is this is another column right last pay slip this is a pdf file this pdf file will appear in this document viewer so that is the technique being used now if i am going to hit on preview and let's say i am going to select one of the val value you can see it has fetched the last this is a sample document okay this is this is a, any document you can put it so here this is a pay slip let's say for an example and now the image of the employee also has appeared let me select the another value 1002 you can see the employee image his details and the pay slip has appeared it could be any other document let's say his joining letter or anything like that everything we can design like this you know by just by following the same concept and we can design more complicated uh, pages okay so but again the back end would look something like this this is how i have done it so please do design it and let me know in case you have got any challenges during this design so that i can help you out thank you guys for watching this we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye